I want to make a wholehearted and unequivocal apology for this terrible injustice. First, first to apologise for the failure in blood policy and blood products and the devastating and so often fatal impact this had on so many lives, including the impact of treatments that were known or proved to be contaminated, the failure to respond to the risk of imported concentrates, the failure to prioritise self-sufficiency in blood, the failure to introduce screening services sooner, and the mismanagement of the response to the emergence of AIDS and hepatitis viruses amongst infected blood victims. Second, to apologise for the repeated failure of the state and our medical professionals to recognise the harm caused. This includes the failure of previous payment schemes, the inadequate levels of funding made available, and the failure to recognise hepatitis B victims. And third, to apologise for the institutional refusal to face up to these failings, and worse, to deny and even attempt to cover them up. The dismissing of reports and campaigners' detailed representations, the loss and destruction of key documents, including ministerial advice and medical, medical records, and the appalling length of time it took to secure the public inquiry, which has delivered the full truth today. Mr Speaker, layer upon layer of hurt endured across decades. This is an apology from the state to every single person impacted by this scandal. It did not have to be this way. It should never have been this way. And on behalf of this and every government stretching back to the 1970s, I am truly sorry.